Hello, my name is Jordan with Reflecting Walls Photography. Today I'm going to show you how to upload the images you receive from us onto popular real estate listing websites such as Zillow and Redfin as well as Trulia. I've gotten a lot of questions so this warrants a tutorial in my mind. Okay, first off, I've written a page for the Dubois Team Real Estate Group in Arizona all about taking a go at selling your property or being a for sale by owner. Now, of course, I'm biased because I've written it, but if you read through it, I believe you'll also think that these 10 steps can be very beneficial to helping you sell your house. Okay, without further ado, let's get to it. So, if you go to Google and you search homes for sale, the top websites that pop up, excluding the ads, uh, even though these pop up in the ads as well sometimes, uh, are normally Redfin, Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor.com. I didn't mention that we were going to get the images onto Realtor.com for the simple reason that they pull from the MLS only, whereas Redfin pulls from the MLS as well as for sale by owner websites, uh, two in particular. Now, the MLS is granted to agents, so in order to get your house on the market in the MLS, you need to use a realtor. Okay, so let's deal with Zillow first. Now, Zillow is very simple. All you have to do is go to sell for sale by owner and fill out some house details. For this, I'm going to use a fictitious address. Oh, let's see, number lock, that would help for this example and here we go now of course you put in your exact address it will tell you hey is this where you are and uh, I'm surprised that Easy Street popped up okay great yes it's the correct location you would only hit that if it was a correct location now you are brought to this screen where you can set your price. Let's do 500,000. Uh, and this is what we're interested in. Now your home facts, open house, all this information can be filled out while your media is loaded. That's what I suggest. So video walkthroughs, you can do a video walkthrough or reflecting walls, photography and media. We do video walkthroughs and you can go to our website to see pricing and samples or contact us for a more thorough explanation. But today we're just dealing with photos. So all you have to do is click add new photo. And when you receive photos from Reflecting Walls Photography, we send you an accompanying video that shows you how to download and extract your images because they're in a compressed format. Uh, and then when you extract them, maybe they become JPEG format, ready to be uploaded to the MLS and various sites like this. So we also recommend that you put them in an area that's easy to reach. So in this area, I've placed in desktop, sample media, and my house. All you would have to do is select all the images that you want to upload and click open. Then they should start popping up. And Zillow says you can drag and drop to reorder. So once they're popped up, you can move them and they rearrange in the order that you would desire. And then, as I said earlier, you can fill out the home facts once they're loaded. But after everything has been filled out and loaded, all you have to do is, let's put my address, my actual phone number because the other one didn't work. You do this, you check that you've agreed. Now, this tells you that you are, or, or this, uh, this assumes that you are the owner and you have the authority uh, to post this home and you will not provide incorrect information. As I said, this one, it will be submitted, but they're going to deny it because it's just an example and it is not for the purposes of actual posting. Now we post it for sale by owner and the listing is on its way. Listing is submitted and currently under review, so that way Zillow will determine if the listing is an actual listing or bogus. That's all it takes for Zillow, and somewhere on their website they mention that if you post on Zillow, it will automatically be syndicated to Trulia, their sister company, or the, they own the company as well. So that knocks out Zillow and Trulia. Now, let's go to Redfin. 
if you go to the real estate glossary, glossary on Redfin, excuse me, <clears throat> you can see that Redfin is one of the few sites that combine broker listed properties from the MLS with for sale by owner homes. Okay, perfect. Now they pull from for sale by owner.com, which costs money, and oodle.com, which is similar to Craigslist or Backpage if you're familiar with those. It's an online free listing site. So we're going to use oodle. Now I've already signed up for oodle. And the next thing you do, you need a Facebook. So if you don't have one, you should create one, put your correct information in there. And then we go to post after you've signed up. What are you posting? A house. Now here you could put your address. And before we fill anything out, I recommend selecting the category. Because once you've selected the category, then you're able to see all the similar um, well, a few of the useful text boxes that can tell people of the year, Bill, Bedford's bathroom is similar to what Zillow offers. Then describe it. And this is what we are interested for this video. Add photo. Now, you're unable to select multiple images, so you need to import them one at a time until you are satisfied. Let's just do the backyard, the backyard, there we go. So we have three images. You can, as far as I know, you can upload as many as possible, but I haven't read through all of the abilities of this. So then once you're done, adding everything and all this information is correct we just click post now this will create a listing and it'll be pending so if you look at your listings I've already posted a couple just to try to play around with this um, but we see this one processing this is the one we just did it will give you an ID and then after a couple hours it should go to active and then give you 30 days based on I suppose the subscription that we have and I just have a free subscription now this should syndicate out to redfin.com why do I say should it be it should because redfin.com says that they pull from that website I don't know if you need a particular subscription in order for it to do that I don't know if the free one will go through it but as far as I do know I don't see why it shouldn't so that is how you get your photos onto the internet onto the popular websites Redfin, Zillow and Trulia and as I said before if you want your photos on the MLS and you're listing on the MLS you'll have to go through a realtor well my name is Jordan with Reflecting Walls Photography and Media thank you so much for watching this have a great day